friends, I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, it's gonna be a little bit different. I wanna stock up and organize my car. I've actually driven a truck for the most part, but we recently traded my truck in for an SUV and it has a really nice storage compartment that I can utilize to bring things along with us. So that is what I'm gonna be working on. And I made a list of all the items I would like to have on hand in my car. And I'm gonna see what I can find at Dollar Tree and Walmart. And if I use items from other stores, I will try to remember to share that in the video as well. It's super windy today, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get everything filmed today. This might be over a couple of days time, but that's what I'm working on in this video. Let's get started. look at some of the items I'm going to be putting into my car. A couple of the items I might just throw in my purse and I will try to remember to share that as I go. But the first thing I'm going to go ahead and share are these containers. These actually fit really nicely in the compartment that is in the cargo space of my car. So I think I'm going to be using these to organize a lot of this stuff. And this container, all of these are from Dollar Tree. This container works perfect for a trash can. That's actually what I use in my car. So I'm going to show that to you today. And then this container, I thought I would put together kind of a kit. So now let's move on to all the items that I picked up. So one of the first things I picked up is a notebook. I like to have these on hand. I always have one in my purse, but I thought it would be a good idea to keep one in the car as well. And then I picked up some pins. I just thought these were pretty and they have lids so I don't have to worry about them leaking so I grabbed those to put in the car as well. The next thing I picked up is this package of travel size Kleenexes. They're actually the Kleenex brand. There are 10 in this package. They were $1.25 and so I can put some in the back, some in the front, different areas of the car. So these are always nice to have. Another on. thing that I picked up is a can of bug spray. It was at Walmart in the travel size section and I thought this would be a really good addition to keep in the car. Cough drops, these are sugar free. So I'm not putting the whole bag in the car. I'm just gonna take a few out, put them in a container and add them into my organization. I picked up a full size deodorant to keep on hand. I also went ahead and picked up this one. This one was actually at Walmart in the travel sized items. I think I have footage of that. It is super small and it is the native brand. And I really like this brand. I think I'm actually gonna just toss this one in my purse and then I also picked up a hand lotion some chapstick different kinds to put in the car and I also picked up this pain reliever or Advil I like the container it's super small I can easily toss this in my bag as well and then of course first aid kits I found this one at Dollar Tree it has several different size items inside they also have something similar at Walmart I think I have footage of that as well and it's just a nice little container that has several different things inside and you can use the container for other items as well so I have two of those this one I think we've used most of the band-aids out of so I picked up some band-aids at Dollar Tree so I can restock that and I could put one in the front of the car and one in the back Disinfectant wipes, I thought these would be a really nice addition to add to the front of the car. And then I also picked up a package of gum and some peanuts just to have them on hand. And then I got this soap container because I thought I could use it for something else. It's a nice size and I think you could fit a lot of different things in something like this. You can make your own little sewing kit or could put my cough drops and probably Advil and just chapstick, whatever I want. I thought I could use this for something, so I went ahead and picked one of those. Package of the baby wipes, there's 64 in this container. It was from Dollar Tree, and I just think these will be really nice to have in the car. Sometimes my hands just get dirty, whether I'm picking up mulch, looking at flowers, whether you order a drink, sometimes the cup is sticky. I thought this might be a good one to have on hand. Something else I picked up is this manicure kit. It comes with nail clippers, scissors, and the container that it's in is actually a nail file, so I thought that might be a good one to keep on hand. An extra pair of readers to keep in the car just in case I happen to break mine or can't find them. And then it's a brush and comb set. I thought that would be handy just to have 
on hand as well. And of course, ponytails because 90% of the time I have a ponytail in my hair so I thought that would be a good one to add. And when I was looking at the travel size section I found these little spray bottles. I don't think I'm going to add this to the car. I think I'm actually going to tuck this into my luggage bag but I thought I'd go ahead and share it just in case you're looking for something like this. And moving over, I picked up two of these rain ponchos. I know there's been times that we've been out and about. I know we were at a rodeo one time and we got soaked. So I thought these might be a good idea. Something else that I picked up at the travel section is this package of Q-tips. I really like these containers. In fact, I've used them before to make little kits out of. Let me just show you real quick what all I have in this one. This is what they look like when you buy them from the store. And the stickers come off pretty easily. Here's one that's empty and they just open up like this and they snap shut. So here's the one I wanted to show you. I made this years ago. It's just a bunch of odd ends that I crammed in here that I could easily put in my purse or in the glove box. But I want to show you everything that I have in this little container. I have a small perfume, some nail clippers, tweezers, a ponytail, some hair clips, and I think there's another one in here, a band-aid, a nail file, and a couple of disinfectant wipes. Yep, there's the other hair clip. And I used to also keep a cough drop in here and some mints. So you can actually put a lot of stuff in one of these little containers and you can personalize it in several different ways. I actually used to carry earphones in here as well and then I turned it into this little kit. Up is disposable gloves. I picked these up at Walmart. I don't think I'm going to put the entire package in the car. I'll probably just take out a few, stick them in a baggie or something and put those in the car. But I thought that would be nice to have on hand. And then of course trash bags are always a good idea. And I also have some store bags because these work perfectly in that container that I showed you for a trash can. That's actually what I use in my car and I'll be showing you how I do that. I also picked up some scissors to keep on hand because you never know when you might need to open something that you had to run in and purchase real quick. And then a tape measure so that I can always make sure whatever I'm purchasing is gonna fit in my car. And then some batteries because I do have a flashlight already in my car. So I just wanted to get some backup batteries for a that. A couple of baggies to have on hand and then a cosmetic bag that just has some feminine products in it. Hand sanitizer, I feel like this is kind of a must. So I always have some of this on hand. I just picked up an extra one. And a lint roller. This is actually cheaper at Walmart and I like to have one of these on hand. My dogs actually don't shed but my daughters does. So it's nice to have one of these in the car. And then I also have a couple of small dog dishes. Like I've said before, and you've probably seen them in some of my videos, we do have dogs. Sometimes they go with us. And so I thought it would be a good idea to keep some dishes on hand. And then I also have a treat jar. I'm going to put some of their treats in here so that we have those on hand. You could also use something like this for dog food if you wanted to keep a little bit of that in the car. And then, of course, some bobble package of napkins, some small plates and some plastic utensils to keep Anything in Anything else I want to add are a few paper clips and some envelopes. There's been times where I wanted to put a deposit in the night deposit box and I did not have an envelope on hand so I want to add a few more of those to my car while I'm thinking about it and while I'm doing this. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of get everything put together, how I want to organize it in my car, see how many bins I'm going to need and how I'm going to put things together if I'm going to use things like this or not. Just see how I want to organize it all before I take it all outside to my car. So I am going to work on that now. And I can actually fit six of these bins in that compartment in my car, but I don't think I'm going to need that many. I'm probably going to use at least three and I may go ahead and put them in the car and then I can utilize them if I need to for something else. I'll just kind of see how it goes. But for right now, I'm going to get this stuff organized, see how many I think I'm going to need and then we'll go for this.
So I didn't think I needed 20 pair of disposable gloves in my car. So I just took a couple of pair out, put them in a baggie, and placed that in one of the bins. And then for the first aid kits, I knew we had used the band-aids out of the kit that I had purchased previously at Walmart. So I wanted to restock that. And then the one that I bought at Dollar Tree, I looked it over. It has plenty of band-aids in it. So I just put it back in the packaging, stuck it in the bin. It's going to stay in the back of the car. And so it'll be nice to have that as a backup kit if we need extra band-aids or if we come across somebody that could use them I could just hand them that and they'd be good to go so I am going to continue organizing getting everything ready and then we'll take a look I'm really happy with everything fit really nicely in here and it's kind of the picnic type themed basket it has the plates the plastic utensils the napkins trash bags grocery store bags that I use for my trash can baby wipes and a couple of baggies so I'm happy with this one this one's kind of odds and ends has the disposable gloves bug spray the cosmetic bag and this one right now is more of the pet related items I have treats water and two different dishes and I may add some stuff to this as I think of it I could certainly throw in some toys or something like that or even puppy pads or a blanket just different things like that some dog food so I may end up doing that we'll just see if the need arises if I need to add anything else to this I will have plenty of room to do and then this container I was able to fit a lot of the items in and I think this one might be nice to put under the passenger seat so we can easily get to it if we need to without having to get in the back of the car so I was able to put the lint roller inside the Carmex scissors deodorant cough drops I put in the soap container the hairbrush and comb ponytails q-tips and the nail kit so I think that's gonna work out really nicely in there and then this bin of items I'm gonna put in the front somewhere possibly in the center console or maybe the glove box or actually I could probably fit a few more items in here so I'm gonna see if I can fit some more stuff in this and then we will go put some of this in the car and see how that goes and actually I have a lot of space left in this one if I end up not putting that in the front of the car and I also have an emergency kit in the back of my car as well as a cooler and an organizer and then I also have a tarp so I may see if the tarp will fit in this bin as well and I like having a tarp in my car because I do pick up mulch and potting mix and stuff like that and of course plants and flowers and so I like to be able to spread the tarp out just to protect my car's interior and so those are really handy from Dollar Tree as well so let me go ahead see if I can fit a few more items in this container and then we'll go put these in the car And this container also fits perfectly inside one of these bins if I decide I do not want it under the seat. So that's another option as well. So let's go put these in. My center console you'll see that I already had a few items in here and I will be adding some others in as well I added my envelopes those will be nice to have on hand when I want to make a deposit at my bank in the night deposit box and then I already had a package of masks in here Walmart gave those to me as a free gift in one of my pickup orders so I just keep those in my car I thought that would be a good item to just have on hand and then my flashlight I always have that with me and that's why I wanted the extra package of batteries so that I have a backup set if I ever need them and then a couple of other items that were already in here is air fresheners and then one of those same q-tip containers I keep loose change in in here as well so I'm just going to continue organizing my center console <laughs> So 
it's still super windy out this morning. It's actually about 6.30 in the morning the next day. But I wanted to try to get better footage. It was so sunny last night that it was just having a hard time getting good pictures. So here's the first basket that I filled up and it has the plates, napkins, utensils, baby wipes, and trash bags. And I added some straws into this one last night. The second one's kind of the random one. It has the first aid kit, the rain ponchos, Kleenexes, the bug spray, and then I folded up my tarp and put in here. And like I mentioned, I love having that tarp in here for when I pick up mulch or plants to keep the dirt off of the carpet in my... And then here's the more pet theme related basket. I went ahead and added some of those doggy bags so that we have those with us. And I may add a baggie of dog food as well so that we have that as I can actually fit three more of these bins but I think I'm just gonna add one and then put our emergency roadside kit inside of that one it actually fits really nicely in there as well as an ice scraper and so I think I'm just gonna take these indoors and then I still have plenty of room I could put my coolie bags down here as well as a blanket and I did bring a throw blanket out here to put in this space as well other items I keep in my car is a cooler bag and there's actually three of them here they actually fit inside of each other and so I like to have those on hand whenever I'm grocery shopping and I could actually tuck those down here to get them out of the way if I need to and then I have this larger storage organizer it's three compartments and actually you can take this center one out it's a coolie bag as well so that's really nice for grocery pickup or just getting groceries so they're not rolling around in the back of the car and then in this one I actually have one of those Dollar Tree bins with bag and I use that for a trash can or if I'm buying plants I can stick them in there to keep the dirt off of my car and then I also have a couple of towels just in case there's any sort of spills or anything like that and then some grocery shopping bags as well so that is what is going on in the back of my car and also I have these little hooks you can purchase these at Amazon and they just hang on the back of the headrest and so you can put grocery bags or your purse or something like that on and then there. real quickly how I keep my registration insurance and maintenance for my car organized I have this coupon organizer and I just have the different sections labeled registration insurance oil changes tires other maintenance and so I can keep track of everything that we do for my car in this one spot and put it in the glove box and then I know where everything is. And I just made this little printable so that it fits inside my organizer so that I can just keep track of anything that we would happen to do to this car, oil changes and so on. Just so we have record of it and can keep track of all of that. So this is kind of hard to do one hand. <laughs> but you kind of get the idea but there it is and so if I can find some of these organizers or an organizer like this I will have it linked in the description below I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please like it don't forget to subscribe and I would love for you to comment and let me know what other items you would include in your car organization as well I hope you have a wonderful blessed day and thanks for watching